My name is Chantrika Bahadur. I am uh, a member of the Millennium Project, which was a group that was brought in by Kofi Annan to help the UN system address and design strategies to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, we then worked, we worked on the Millennium Project for about three years, and then we worked with UNDP for another couple of years, helping mainstream the MDGs. Um, the Global Conference uh, has been a wonderful opportunity to uh, hear uh, and get a sense of what UNDP has actually done on the MDGs, uh, both during the time that I was with the UN system, but also after. Uh, my presentation today was on mainstreaming the MDGs, which was really the core of the work uh, that we had done. I think this is a great time to reflect on what has gone right and what has gone wrong with both the MDGs in general, but also with the UN system's response to the MDGs and our support uh, to the countries that have been trying to achieve the goals. Uh, in my presentation, I talked about a few things. One, that while the MDGs were a fabulous initiative, we in the UN took far too long to organize ourselves into actually being in a position to support countries. Uh, this was not, not meant as a criticism of any one agency or any one group of people, but rather a reflection of the challenges that large organizations face. Uh, in the, in, in, when they face new initiatives, how do we organize ourselves and how does the system organize itself to be able to respond quickly? The second challenge is that when uh, there is a mandate as large as the MDGs, it is extremely hard to be able to customize uh, what each country needs and it's actually absolutely critical to understand what is important for the countries that we're working for. Uh, one of the other things that uh, really has struck me as I've heard other people speak at the conference and also looking back at my own work is that while we were very good with technical support, we completely uh, misjudged and underestimated the importance of political imperatives within countries and incentives that drive political leaders to make the choices they do. And if goals around halving hunger, halving poverty, uh, universalizing education, reducing mortality are to be central to the mandate of countries, it's extremely important that they are tied in with incentives of our political leaders. For that, it is absolutely essential that the UN as a system really galvanizes people across the world to demand this of their political leaders, that there are goals on education, on health that are critical for their own well-being and that political leaders need to be rewarded or penalized on how they actually perform on these goals. That is missing, has been missing for the last decade, and any effort that we make in the future will have to take into account some of these imperatives. And we have to understand as a system how we can actually support political leaders. To my mind, the MDGs were a tremendous opportunity for governments around the world to actually take these global standards and use the expertise and the resources that were offered to actually uh, push their own agendas and their own priorities forward. I hope very much that as the uh, UN system and UNDP in particular move towards designing and uh, thinking about the post-2015 agenda, that some of these issues are taken on board and that the UN becomes a more effective advocate for some of the poorest people in the world because this is the only organization that actually really is in a position to speak for people who can't speak for themselves. Thank you.